the end is near, the fool sing. Because there really never is an ending, guys. But things are getting super exciting. I mean, I can't believe it. What, what, what we do know is this case has to end soon, right? From Extra Beans, unprecedented drama for a precedent-setting case. Is this real life or is this fantasy? From Brad Gollinghouse himself, he just tweeted this out, guys. For those of you keeping keeping count, 12, yes, 12 amici briefs submitted. It's unprecedented, I'm told, to have this happen at this stage. They each explain in their own unique way the irreparable harm the SEC will do to every facet of the U.S. crypto economy if it gets its way. Again, the SEC needs to be shut down, guys, to say the least. Come on. If you go here, eight dozen independent voices, companies, developers, exchanges, public interest rate, all, everyone's joining force, right? Nothing can stop what's coming. Literally, the destruction must take place. Retail holders, all filing in the SEC first report case to explain how dangerously wrong the SEC is. The SEC's response, we need more time. Not to listen or engage, but to blindly bulldoze on. Hmm. Oh, look at this, guys. The SEC has filed a motion to extend the time to file all parties' reply briefs until November 30th, 2022. So, and asks the court to order that any additional amicus briefs be filed by November 11th, 2022. Ripple consents. New dates in motion. There we go. It's happening, right? This is how we know. <laughs> The SEC is done for, guys. I'm actually, this is just crazy to me. What's happening, right? A crazy, crazy, crazy show. I can't believe it's all, It's all already been almost two years now. I mean, comment down below. Let's play a fun game, guys. Comment down below when this Ripple vs. SEC case concludes. What will be the exact date of it? Comment down below. Then Johnny Deason comes into the play and, and tweets this out. By the way, if you guys would like to... Investigate further, I will leave the links down in the description below because we have so much to talk about today, guys. Republicans probe SEC Chair Gensler over potential violation of federal transparency laws, right? Exactly. Gary Gensler shook, guys. He's so scared. What's happening with Gary, right? Come on. He has, Gary Gensler has failed to comply with federal transparency laws, according to a letter from the House Republicans. <laughs> wow. As we see right here, Patrick McHenry and Senator Toomey are demanding answers regarding Gary Gensler's mismanagement of the SEC following an alarming Inspector General report, right? So we know the SEC is now getting exposed, right? Gary Gensler is scared. So what's going to happen at this point in time, right? What I do know, everything is truly just a show, guys. That's what I do know. From Documenting Ripple. Gary Gasser admits XRP is a payment token, the exact type of token previous SEC chair Jay Clayton described as a non-security game set match. The Don, right? Payment tokens. Look at this, guys. XRP for Ripple's X Rapid Cross Border application. Then we see right here, these people literally trap themselves. This is how, guys. It's actually crazy because this is how we know we won the case already, right? They tell us before it literally takes place. For example, on June 6, 2018, then SEC Chairman Jay Clayton described cryptocurrencies like XRP as replacements for traditional currencies in an interview with CNBC. Cryptocurrencies, these are replacements for sovereign currencies, replace the, the dollar, the euro, the yen with Bitcoin. The type of currency is not a security. Interesting. You know what's even crazier though? MIT, bridge currency, referenced numerous times, never relates XRP to a security, right? But labels ETH as an ICO securities offerings more than a few times. Come on, guys. The past, whoa, hold on a minute. The past proves the future. The past proves the future. The past proves the future. That is why they all state that. Wow. Fascinating, right? Look to the past. To figure out the future answers. Interesting. Very fascinating. Now, besides that, we have a lot to talk about today, guys. Be prepared. Because possibly the Great Depression is inbound. As we see right here. From Wall Street Silver, everything is fine. Right? Hedge fund giant Elliot Warren's looming hyperinflation could lead to, quote, global societal collapse. There we go. There we go. There we go. We talked about it. It needs to be global. That's number one. Number two, societal, right? Everyone. And then 
obviously total destruction collapse hyperinflation is here or is going to be here possibly when in in a few years max maybe um people are saying inflation is going to stay and then we go into hyperinflation who really knows guys but this all leads to what to the collapse of the global system right a systemic collapse in a letter sent to investors and seen by the financial times we see here they believe the global economy is in an extremely challenging situation which could lead to hyperinflation uh oh there we go right so what do we think will take place then if you go here translation depression incoming hmm what bank of england expects uk to fall into longest ever recession right interesting again we talked about how there needs to be a great depression which includes what the quote unquote great reset right it's just as a what a byproduct of the reset or the collapse bank of england warns the country is entering longest recession in modern history so will something have to take place right guys <laughs> something has to happen right this that's what happens when you lock everyone in their homes for two years exactly and they increase the interest rates again uh oh the bank of england huh they locked everyone in their homes for two years and printed th tons of money. Now we have massive inflation and a recession. The rich get richer while you get poorer. Are you realizing what is happening yet? Some call, some may call it a great reset. Exactly, right? Wow. You owe nothing and you'll be happy. Hmm. This is crazy, right? absolutely crazy what's happening because a few years back we, we were talking about how this all is going to be taking place in the future and it seems like it actually is from financial juice ecb's president lagarde by the way the wise owl a recession won't be sufficient to settle inflation a, a recession won't be sufficient to settle inflation interesting <laughs> what does that tell us that tells us either they don't really care about us right about the people and inflation is here to stay or they, they might as well collapse it now guys right so when they collapse it, it'll, everything will have to rebalance itself, right? And that's when they bring in the problem reaction solution. I mean, they won't collapse it now. I don't think so, guys. I don't think so because they have it for what, right? Specifically planned for a specific time. A depression, perhaps? A reset, exactly. Look at that, guys. That's what will, quote-unquote, settle inflation. That's what they have always been aim to do ecb's president lagarde inflation is far too high we must act right <laughs> while they act they print more money good for them guys it's absolutely crazy because this world is flipped on its head nothing makes sense nothing makes sense anymore right yields on the yields on 12 month treasuries are now the highest since 2001 stop it gregory manorino stated to watch out for the tenure because if it if it literally spirals upward right uncontrollably that means the collapse is there it's here basically so watch out for these yields guys and have been seeing it's pretty up i'm pretty sure it should be topping out soon and if we go down for the yields stocks cryptos rally up and then the reset takes place or the collapse takes place when 24 25 right crazy stuff while that's all while that's happening the white house states the united states is not in a recession we talked about it how they, they will never say it's a recession why right there, it, two things will ha either happen a great depression is inbound or they're going to say it's not a recession and everything's fine by the way uh, they're just going to delay it further right kick the can down the road in a few years time so as we see we are making real progress on inflation it's just that a lot of this is going to kick in the beginning january when the tax credit credits for solar panels kick in we are making real progress on inflation. Are they truly, are they really fa fact a check? When I took office, the economy was in ruins. <laughs> fact check. It wasn't in ruins then, but it is now. Average cost of average cost per gallon of gas was $2.38. Now it's $3.76. Inflation was 1.4%. Now it's 8.2%. Wages grew 6.1%. Now they're shrinking 3.8%. The mortgage rate was 2.65%. Now it's 7%, guys. Wow. These people literally like they're playing they're playing their role, right? 
they're literally playing their role that they got ordered to from below. Now while now while the economy is literally on self destruction mode, right? We see right here central banks are quietly buying gold at the fastest pace in 55 years because gold is coming back into the play with XRP being the new standard of the new economy, right? Gold's best friend, XRP. Look at that. New all-time highs, guys. The masses are distracted by the carnival of central bankers. Fed, ECB, Bank of England, and the Bank of Japan, and their games with rates while their economies implode. The real story is in what most of the rest of the world is doing to prepare for the real crisis, right? Again, these people love hoarding gold. Remember, gold, silver, these precious metals will be a hedge towards the collapse, so they know it's inbound, right? And guess what else is a hedge towards the collapse? In the beginning of the collapse, it might dump XRP, but right after, when they bring in a solution, off to the races we go. That's my humble opinion, guys. Obviously not financial advice. That's what I believe will take place, right? So XRP is the superior to all assets, in my humble opinion. But anyways, that's all for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe. Isn't it? It is. See you.